In the diagram below, P is a point on the Cartesian plane, R is a point on the positive X axis, um, such that obtuse angle POR, POR, okay, there we can see it, is theta. Okay, calculate without using a calculator the length of OP. Okay, so with any of these types of questions, all you're gonna do is just make a little triangle, and that triangle must always go vertically down. So for example, um, you're always going to have a triangle that goes vertically down or vertically up or vertically down or vertically up. You're never ever going to go horizontally. So you're never going to go um, like that. Okay, you don't want to be doing horizontal. You just want to be doing vertical, vertical, vertical and vertical. Remember vertical means up and down. Okay, so we made a little vertical triangle. There we go. Now, you got to look at this and see that this is an X value. So if you start over here, how do you get to that point? Well, you would go seven units this way, and then you would go four units this way. Okay, seven units that way and four units that way. So this length is seven, but you can just put a little negative seven here, and then this length is four. So if they want you to find the length of OP, you can just use Pythagoras. So we can just say four squared, plus and then negative seven squared. And if you work that out, that'll be 65. And then just take the square root of 65 because remember with Pythagoras, you need to take the square root. And that'll just stay square root 65. But if you wanna write that to two, or let's leave it as square root 65. Okay, so that would be the answer of OP. The next question for one mark says, what is the value of tan theta? Okay, so remember when theta's over here, you can actually just pretend that we are using this angle in the corner. And so they just wanna know tan. So you can just think of the grade 10 formulas that we learned, Sokotoa. So they wanna know what is tan theta. So tan is this one, so you could say tan theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which is negative seven, and then stop. Because many learners, they want to then go further and start working out the angle. But they're not asking you for the angle. They're literally asking you for tan theta. And look, we found tan theta. If you had to go to the next step and start using shift and all of that, then you are finding theta. But that's not what they asked for. They specifically asked us for tan theta. All right, so this next one's very interesting. So it's um, it's not difficult, but a lot of learners make a certain mistake. And I'm gonna show you what that mistake is. So we know that on our cast diagram, we've got some basic things, and that is 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta, and 360 minus theta. Now, if you've watched any of my lessons before, you would know that if, what I've said is that if this thing in the bracket does not look exactly like one of those, then you need to change it by either adding 360 or minusing 360. I don't want to see, well, what a lot of learners do is they think, oh, I'll just take out a common factor. And I've said this before, guys, you are not allowed to take out a common factor when you are busy with trigonometry. It doesn't work. Um, I'm not saying you can't take out a, a common factor when you have something like cos theta plus cos squared theta sin theta. Here you could take out a cos theta as a common factor. What I'm saying is you can't take out a common factor from a bracket like that, from, a, from, from the angle, okay? So please don't make this a negative and then change this to 180 minus theta. Yes, it sometimes gives you the correct answer, but it's a complete coincidence. And when your teacher's marking, they're literally just gonna mark it wrong. Okay, it's a coincidence. So what you need to do is you need to modify it like this, okay? So please remember that, guys. A lot of you forget this. So what you're gonna do is you are going to um, add 360. So you could say theta minus 180, add 360. Why are we allowed to add 360 or minus 360? It's because of the following. If you are over here, let's say you are someplace over here, if you add 360, you're gonna be at exactly the same place. And if you minus 360, well, you're still gonna be at the same place. So mathematically, it's all the same. And so it's a little trick that we do. So now if you had to go add all this together, you're gonna end up with theta plus 180. Now, I know that this doesn't look exactly like that, but in mathematics, when you add, order doesn't matter. For example, three plus five, that's eight. What's five plus three? 
that's also eight. Ah, but when you minus, the order makes a difference. So five minus three is two, but what's three minus five? negative two. You see there's a difference when you subtract and that's why we cannot just switch these around. Okay, now that you have them like this, you are allowed to switch it around because when you add, order doesn't matter. There we go. Now all of a sudden we have something that's on our diagram and that's what we want. So we know that because it's on our diagram, we can just say that um, cos 180 plus theta, you can just change that to cos theta, but we know that this is the sin quadrant, this is the tan quadrant, and this is the cos. So cos is negative in this quadrant, so we're gonna put a little negative in the front. Now, I know some of you might get that answer by taking a negative out and doing all of that stuff, but it's completely wrong. It's just a coincidence that it's working out, okay? Um, and your teacher will mark it completely wrong, okay? So please remember that, guys. There's your answer, and remember to show your steps like that. And so now that we have negative cos theta, we can go answer their question. So they want, so we know that this changed to um, negative cos theta. And so that would then be negative. Now cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if you look at this angle here, adjacent is negative seven. And then hypotenuse is the value that we calculated earlier. And that's always a positive. So that would be square root 65. And so that's going to give you a positive 7 over square root 65. Now, if you type this on your calculator, calculators don't like to have square roots in the denominator, and so they will change it. But that is how your teacher would realize that you used a calculator. So rather leave it like that, because as soon as you type it on the calculator, it's going to try to change that.